Alright, this is Duck. I haven't made a video in a while. This is El Pussycato. He's tracking the Conejo. And I have lots of those around here. I'm going to do a quick video. This is my backyard. Um, I've been feeding the Conejos. And they're pretty healthy. Here we have uh, corn cobs here. And uh, we have lots of trails here, lots of tracks. I haven't tried to disturb much of this because I wanted to actually make sure there's no foxes or pilots coming back this far. But this is, you know, Chuck the Duck here. Boots on the ground, unemployment. And that's what I want to report about today while I'm filming my backyard, the scenery back here. The birds have been begging all day. This is all the Conejo mess. Right here. But I feed them pretty good. And uh, I'm a, I'll probably go get some more corn today. It's a beautiful day here in Michigan. It's my backyard again. This isn't our land. This is a considered marshlands back here, wetlands. But um, boots on the ground unemployment, so let's get to it. Um, I haven't made a video in a while because nothing has been changing and, and nothing still has changed that much. Of course, uh, we had the folks that are unemployed that are considered no longer looking for work and, and that's why of course the unemployment dropped to 9.0 and at first it was 2.1 then 2.9 then 3.4 then 4.4 so I say we just even it out to 5 million people they just took off the unemployed uh, rows probably ran, ran out of the 99 weeks and they're just dropped off and considered not long any longer looking for work. So they're not counted as unemployed, which is just ridiculous. But um, boots on the ground unemployment. I actually wrote some stuff down here, so I'll go by this. First, all the municipalities are um, seeking operational reductions. And um, that means layoffs, of course. Schools have been grappling the idea of... Um, doing the outsourcing the custodial maintenance and other things and that's going to be done which that just means a lot of people lose a 15 or 16 or maybe 20 dollars an hour job and they can be hired back in at say nine dollars an hour and uh, if they not if they don't want there's plenty of you know mexicans around here that'll take these jobs and they can pay them like two dollars an hour and uh and and the, i listened to the obama budget i thought i would comment on that because it has a lot to do with unemployment and everything he has um he, requested being the budget is of course having a will have a bad effect on poor people and currently unemployed people especially older unemployed people just another way I mean a job loser and the Republicans there um, their plan isn't any better at all it's just a, it, this is a lot of jobs that will be lost and uh, we have a governor here in Michigan that wants also wants to cut uh, government jobs and of course federal government federal jo government jobs and my, my god man everybody is somehow working for the government nowadays in some capacity if it's not directly for the government it's somehow being subsidized by the government and I any war job I figure is for the government the GM job I figure is for the government so that's about all there is up here and there's not much job many jobs I've been I've been steadily putting in three resumes at least a day and it's hard to double up because there's not that many jobs. So then you find yourself after about three weeks, you know, putting in resumes to places where you already have resumes in currently. So um, I'm hoping things pick up. Um, I, I've been doing a lot of side work and I've been really lucky, thank God. But on the other hand, uh, I got a lot of bills and it, it's just barely keeping up. Not even keeping up, I'm actually way behind. And of course education and uh, safety net cuts for the unemployed. Um, borders went bankrupt. Uh, a, a German company, huge company named Tyson Krupp, um, they had operations here in the in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana area, Rust Belt area, and they decided to build a new manufacturing complex totally from the ground, and they didn't even consider Michigan or Indiana or Ohio. I think it moved to Alabama. They'll have cheap labor and no unions. That's what they wanted. And um, of course, GM, Chrysler, and Ford all have announced they will hire people in the next five years. I mean, they've been saying that all along. They got lots of money from the government. But um, 
it'll be from the pool of people that were laid off from the UAW. There's still tons of people laid off. And they're, they're no, no longer collecting unemployment or anything, but they still have first crack at the jobs. And uh, they'll be calling these guys back. So it's really not any jobs created, although some of the GM buildings and, and the Ford buildings are having some union um, skilled trade guys redo some of the stuff in there. And so that's, that trickles down eventually. And those are better paying jobs. Um, and of course, they got the bonuses, Jim, so everybody's counting on that. And uh, Japan officially slips into a recession. We have high inflation in China. So that, how will that uh, affect the unemployed people? We'll have to wait and see. And um, Home Depot may be hiring again. Last January, they were laying off 10,000 people. And now they're going to hire a bunch of people. Sorry about that. And... Um, And of course, the competition for these ten dollar an hour jobs that I and twelve dollar an hour jobs that I—that's all I get to apply for. Some of them more, paying more. And I'm really limited to how far I can go. I'm, I call myself logistically challenged because my, because my car situation isn't that great. I support my kids, and it's not easy to do. And after I hurt my arm, I haven't been making that much money. And um, of course, um, I'm working on a business thing. You know, it's a whole thing. So I'm currently unemployed. And I'm going through the layers of unemployment again. Like I said, I'm doing the resumes, searching, doing side jobs, anything I can do, picking up bottles, anything I can do to make a couple extra bucks. I'm deeply in debt. I, you know, I had a friend of the court thing last week, this yesterday rather, and I was really depressed about that. And because I mean, there you face jail time. I've never been in trouble in my life for anything. I don't even have a speeding ticket on my record, and, and I face actually face a felony charge in jail time because I don't have any money. And that's ridiculous, but that's another story for another day. Detroit schools are in debt, $328 million. They want to borrow $200 million more. This is a city of about, at the most, 900,000 people. And over half of those are just old, you know, and retired. So how many kids, to be a half a billion dollars in debt, the school district? Now, they're going to start outsourcing all their maintenance and, and custodial. These people just make a ton of money. But that will is more unemployment for Michigan. And, um, you know, um, oh, Madeline Albright, this is really important, I this message. she declared, I saw this on YouTube, on a news channel, that the 500,000 children that were counted as killed was an acceptable number for the uh, importance of what was gained in the war which was what? We're uh, exporting oil to China from Iraq at peak oil, something Saddam could never do, of course, the peak oil thing. Of course, Americans came there and kicked some ass, and we got the peak oil flowing right to China. Huh. And that's worth 500,000 children. That's counted children. You know, some of those bombs, when they go off, they just simply vaporize people, and they're never counted. Um, and I don't understand it. Um, and, of course, Webster Tarpley says that the U.S. dollar can never be replaced. That's why we have nothing to worry about it, the, the dollar collapsing. But he's wrong about that. The dollar can be easily, be, uh, uh, easily be replaced by the EU with Germany back in it. And if Germany could get all their assets from America that they're old, and, you know, they're basically the world num world's number one economy now. Um, we, they don't have the size of our economy. But if they could, you know, the Germans are very... Um, uh, they're very smart people, and if they could pull this together, they could probably make that possible, at least get enough people to believe them that it, it's possible to change that currency to the EU. So I believe that could happen, and uh, it will, will happen, because the United States currency, of course, is going to be devalued, and we're probably going to get attacked. These countries are going to start throwing bonds in the market. They were just waiting for some event. I don't know what, but it's going to happen. Um, of course, Detroit wants to shut down part of the city, and it, it, like that one movie where the guys, where the judge and the jury sentences, sentences a guy to go to Detroit, and the guy say, "No, no, anything but Detroit, not Detroit." Well, I'm kind of wondering, is that going to just create a huge, like, fish futuristic crime, you know, uh, place here in Detroit, where anything goes? And um, well, the Madeline Albright, that's disgusting. That she would even say that. We're 500,000 children. Um, I hate these fucking wars. And the Middle East, I predicted all that. Um, it's going to keep, the dominoes will keep, dominoes will keep falling. 
and it's not everybody thinks about oh it's about freedom it's about expression of democracy it's not about any of that bullshit it's they hate the Americans they hate the Israelis you know they're tired of seeing those warships go through the Suez Canal and right now we got a task force of Marines over there and Nubarak where, where, where does he go he goes to Sharm el-Sheikh I was in Sharm el-Sheikh I was there for a while I was among the uh, first troopers to that area it was all it was a huge minefield with a bunch of burned out bombed buildings and a little grass hut on the beach on Nama Bay and uh, now it's a big resort town surrounded by Americans he's in a safe place I don't think he wants to leave because he wants his uh, assets out of the country which I think they froze but you know he's a billion billion billionaire and he's like he's 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 gonna hang on towards money you know those people are really greedy and uh, the people in the meantime the people want to hang him and hang his whole family that's how it goes over there, and it just might happen. I can tell you what right now. All the leaders over the Middle East are taken, uh, that have been backed by the Americans for all this time, are taking notice right now. And these people, it won't take much for them to switch sides. So I believe that will happen in Turkey real soon. Saudi Arabia is going to have some problems. And uh, we're going to have problems in the Suez Canal. We've got the task force there, of course, the Marines. And they're ready to go in. We'll just see what happens. I'm going to post this. Like I said, I haven't been on it for a while been really depressing. I just kind of was drawn with myself and I, I don't do anything but I'm really depressed. But I didn't go to jail so fuck I'm happy about that. This is Duck Out.